What's going on on my hobby collectors? It's the sports car collector. It's Monday and it's time for me to drop my card of the week. Um, before I drop my card of the week, if you haven't had the opportunity to check out last week's card of the week, the classic 1973 year two tops ABA Julius Urban all-star card, please check out that hobby blog. Um, a rare jewel, that's all I gotta say. It's a rare jewel and um, I'm super happy to have that card be a part of my personal collection. Every time I look at it when I'm in my lab, I'm just like, man, this is what the hobby is all about. As a kid coming up in North Philly, collecting cards, hearing about vintage cards, and now um, in my second hobby run, being able to touch, feel, and, and own um, these cards it's, these vintage cards, it's, it's, it's amazing. That's all I can say. Um, it's amazing, it's a dope experience, and the nostalgia is, is real. Um, but without further ado, my card of the week is the 1986 Wayne Gretzky Box Bottoms Hand Cut Opeachy card. I hope you guys enjoyed my card of the week. It's cards like this that reminds me why I collect. Cards like this are connected to a memory. The day I saw this card in my local hobby store that I always shop at, I found myself remembering a time during my first hobby run where I collected hockey cards. Though I never played hockey, I always had this fascination with watching hockey and collecting hockey cards. My two favorite teams were the Flyers and the LA Kings. And uh, to have a low pop card like this in my collection um, is dope. And uh, it just keeps me connected to that memory to step outside my comfort zone and try new things as it relates to the hobby. So as always, keep collecting. It's all about the hobby experience. Every card has a story. Until next time, it's the Sports Card Collector. I'm out, take care, be safe.